today students in this module i will talk about i will show you the code also and how the forms in php work so it's a multi part module and i will discuss the code with you also it has uh, quite a few number of slides so please bear with me and details are given in the text so let's go ahead and look at the module coverage so you see that it's a quite an extensive and elaborate module coverage and but it is not difficult once we go through this you will see that it is very easy to comprehend and understand so let's go ahead so we have actions and we have methods now remember that we have been discussing these things for a while now what is an action now the action is where to send the data okay and what it consists of it is absolute and it is relative also absolute is that i give the exact address at the exact location where the data has to be sent and relative is maybe i am accessing the server and i am sitting on the server okay and i am developing an application and testing it so it is relative to that location and the methods get and post we have already discussed in lot of detail from prior modules and then the comparison between the get and post is the volume of data that we already discussed it is just a kind of refresher before we go into the more uh, nitty gritty details so in the get we can see what is there uh, there is a limit at the browser end to process the data which is passed at part of the get and post it is in the message body and of course it is not visible and it can be large also fairly large so this is an html form and these are the controls which we discussed in the prior lecture and there are different types of controls over here you can see we have a text input field we have the password we have the radio buttons we have the check boxes and we have the hidden field also here what is there we don't know why because it is hidden that is why we don't know don't know as the user the client but the programmer knows actually the programmer has placed this thing in the code the programmer knows what is here not the end user and of course there are different types of selection menus now let's look at text input and the password field so what is important over here is that the text input field the type is text the type is text okay and the type is password over here right the, the 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 difference between them the difference between them this is going to be hidden this is going to be hidden this is this this is not going to be visible this is hidden so that is the main difference over here between the text and the password fields all right i believe everybody understands this the difference between the password and the text field now we move ahead let's look at more stuff so we have check boxes and we have the radio button now remember this is the label over here and we have the input over here okay and you can add the attribute over here in the check boxes okay you can add an attribute in the check box and it is going to work for you all right and you can have groups of at least two buttons when we talk of button you can have a group of two buttons and the value attribute is mandatory for check boxes and radio buttons the value attribute is this is mandatory this is mandatory for the radio button and this is also mandatory you can see over here the yes is placed over here this button is selected over here so these things are mandatory so this this is the way they are different from the text box and from the other fields now let's move on to more interesting stuff let's move on and we see over here is the submit and reset buttons a submit button sends the submit button sends okay it sends the value to the server where it goes to the server server script it sends the value over there and the and the reset button what does what it will do it will back to the initial value back to initial value 
okay back to the initial value that's what it's going to do submit and reset buttons so these are some specialized buttons and then we have the select field over here and we have the hidden field and hidden field is it is not displayed it is not displayed on the page okay it is not displayed it is there in the page it is there okay but it is not displayed so that is why this is called as the hidden field and we have discussed some of the applications of the hidden field also then what we have is the image field we have the image field it it can work with the submit button work with the submit button okay submit button and we have this push button over here push button doesn't do anything doesn't do anything okay by default by default it doesn't do anything okay these they trigger the events trigger the events okay and how using javascript for example javascript we will be discussing when we come to the uh, relevant uh, modules about the javascript so what else we have we have this pull down menu and the list box so when we set the size to 1 this is the pull down menu pull down okay and when we set the size to 3 this changes into a list box this changes into a list box over here list box pull down menu over here and these are the options over here okay these are the options over here so this is how this code is working you can change the values and it becomes from a menu format to a list box okay and then we have what we have over here is the multi select list box and the text area field so in this multi list box over here okay you can select by using the control key control key okay and for multiple values for multiple values control key and over here in this text area field it is the height which is the rows and the columns so you can set them over here this is the area field rows and width of the column so this is how it works and uh, this is all we have for this module i believe when you look at this code and you read the code and match the code with the control elements in the form it will become clear thank you very much